guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video you guys probably already know what I'm gonna do because I have my bake on and my foundation on and if you're new to my channel my name's Michelle and usually I like to do my foundation after I do my eye makeup but whenever I do three looks using one palette I always have baking powder on and I have my foundation on so that's always an indication that I'm gonna be doing three looks with one palette so in today's video I'm going to be doing three different looks using probably my most favorite ColourPop eyeshadow palette that has come out because it is their all purple palette which if you guys don't know this about me my favorite color is purple um this is the it's my pleasure palette and this is what it looks like so it has a really nice mirror up here and then they're all purple toned eyeshadows and recently ColourPop came out with another nine pan eyeshadow palette called Ooh La La, which is their all pink palette so this is what it looks like and they actually came out with this palette on october 3rd which is mean girls day which also just so happened to land on a wednesday last year so this was kind of like their like homage to mean girls i don't really like the color pink that much when it comes to like wearing it as clothing or owning items that are pink but I have to make an exception to makeup because for some reason I really like how pink makeup looks on me. Um, I think it complements my skin tone really well and I feel like it really brings out the color of my eyes. So um, this is what their Ooh La La eyeshadow palette looks like. And I did do like one or two looks using this eyeshadow palette but I am thinking about doing a Valentine's Day look probably for my Instagram. Um, so definitely make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you guys want to see what look I come up with with this palette ever since they came out with that palette people have been asking for monochromatic palettes from them if you guys know huda beauty for holiday she did come out with the obsessions palettes so she had like five different palettes which i'll put up here for you guys um and they were all different precious stones that's what it was called the precious stones obsessions palettes and they were all different stones and each palette was a monochromatic palette based on a, that on that stone so i really really liked those a lot so i was excited that ColourPop was coming out with theirs because the huda ones retail originally for 27 dollars each and the ColourPop ones, 9 pan ones, are $12. And they are really nice. They do have a nice mirror. And also, um, I did do a video on this one. This is the Brown Sugar ColourPop times Karushi. So as you can see, the packaging was all brown. And it was more like brown tones. And then before that, they came out with their Sol and Mar palettes. And now, if you go on the website, this one is a teal packaging. And this one is an orange packaging. Because this eyeshadow is more like orangey tones. Which I could totally see that. But I really think that they should come out with a blue. Like an all blue one. Because this one has like three blues. And then the rest are browns. So I don't really find that this is a teal palette per se. But... I can see why they did that to just kind of go with the whole theme of it all. So I think that's really, really cool that they did that and that they hopefully come out with like a green one because I think that would be so awesome. And hopefully they come out with a blue one too and just all the colors in the rainbow really. I think that would be really, really awesome and especially for the price. Enough of me rambling on. I'm going to be doing three looks using the It's My Pleasure palette, which is an all purple palette. Also, in today's video, I'm going to be trying on the new ColourPop mascara. Yes, you heard right. ColourPop finally has a mascara. I'm so excited for this mascara. I actually got it in my mystery bag. I am going to be showing you guys this mascara live in action. I did try it on when I first got it on one eye and compared it to another mascara just to kind of see how it applied and whatnot. But I haven't actually worn it with makeup, so I don't know what it's going to look like. So it'll be very, very interesting. And this is the black shade. And I do want to pick up the other colored ones. Um, I'll probably start picking them up little by little, so that way by springtime I have them and I can do some fun looks with that. This is the longest intro ever. We're going to jump right into the three looks with the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop. So if you guys want to see what three looks I come up with, then continue watching. We're going to start off with the white concealer from ColourPop and I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow base. I'm going to blend it out with a small stippling brush and this is going to work to make the eyeshadows more vibrant and true to color. And then I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shade Fan Fiction and I'm going to apply that with a fluffy crease brush and apply that into my crease. And I'm just going to go ahead and build it up until I get the intensity that I want. 
Then I'm taking some of Mr. Sandman on a flat shader brush and I'm just wetting it a little bit and I'm gonna apply that onto the lid and this is just gonna help the intensity be very vibrant and so that way I don't have any fallout either. Um, and then I, since it didn't have a light highlighting shade, I went into the Bretman eyeshadow palette and just took that light shade. Then I took a little bit of um, fan fiction again and just applied that onto the outer V and into the crease, taking a little bit of the Earth Shine and putting that into the outer corner as my outer corner highlight. A little bit of fan fiction on a flat eyeliner brush and just applying that onto my lower lash line just to make everything nice and smoky, cleaning up the edges with this Morphe brush. And then I went ahead and blended out that fan fiction shade with this pencil brush. And then I took some of the ColourPop BFF mascara and this is the black shade. And I went ahead and I built this up quite a bit. These are my crappy lashes on this side, so you can really see just how well this works with the first coat. And I kind of have to work with it because my eyelashes go in every direction, but you can see a really big difference with just one coat of mascara. So then I went ahead and used some of the Viper shade from ColourPop, and this is the first finished look. And I also used this Pinch Me highlighter from ColourPop as well, and I decided to just take a little bit of this. Um, supernova eyeshadow into my inner corner and that is the first look and then I'm taking some of the sleeper shade and I'm applying that onto my crease and as I was applying it I felt that it was a little patchy when I was trying to do windshield wiper motions so I went ahead and I packed it on in place where I wanted it and then I went back and blended it out with a little bit of the fan fiction shade and I also put that on my outer corner as well And I also put a little bit of this color into my inner corner as well because I decided last minute to do a halo eye. Then I took some of the shade called Kittenfish and I just blended out that purple and the crease just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. Took a little bit of this Jelly Munch eyeshadow which I will link down below for you guys. And I used this as a base for the eyeshadow to kind of do like a cut crease halo type of eye look. And I just went ahead and applied this and kind of messily... And as it dries, you don't want it to get super, super dry, but almost completely dry. And then you can blend out the edges. And then I took some of that Earth Shine and put it right on top just to really intensify that. So I used it more as a base more than anything. Then I took a little bit of Bare Minimum and I just used this to blend in that Earth Shine in with the matte sleeper shade. And kind of created like a V-shape into the halo middle part of the spot eye. Then I took a little bit of um, loose setting powder just to kind of clean up the edges. Took this Jordana Purple Fix Eyeliner. And then I went ahead and lined my eyes with it just to kind of stick with the whole purple vibe. You can do black eyeliner if you want, but this is a pretty dark purple too. And I didn't do a wing. I just lined my top lash line because we are going to use falsies. And then I went back in with that sleeper shade and applied that onto my lower lash line just to smoke things out a bit. And I only put it on the outer and inner part. And then I took this Cover FX liquid eyeshadow and put that onto my inner corner to really make it pop. And I started blending it out, but then I realized that I had to let it dry a little bit because if not, it looks kind of patchy. So um, I just kind of waited a few seconds and then went ahead and blend everything in to make sure there was no harsh lines. Then I took these Insta Glam lashes, and this is the first finished look. And I also used these two lips that I will link down below for you guys. And then for the third and final look, we're going to use a shade called Pretty Cruel, and we're going to apply that onto the crease as well. And this is going to be our transition shade, so it doesn't really have to be too intense, just a light wash of it. And then I'm taking a little bit of Dew of do or Dough and Sleeper and applying that into the crease. And as I said, you have to kind of press it in place first, and then you can kind of swirl it out and buff it out. And I'm taking... Just really light strokes and then I'm taking a little bit of black um, eyeliner and this is gonna work as a base for our lid shade and this will really help to deepen up any eyeshadow so I'm gonna take this the shade called chick lit and I'm gonna apply that and I'm gonna just kind of press it on top of that black eyeliner and you really want to take your time and build this up so that way you get the intensity that you want took a little bit more onto my finger just to really make it pop 
And then to add a little dimension, I took do or do and put that just right on top just to add some nice shimmer and dimension. And you can see how nice and deep that made it. Took a little bit more of Pretty Cruel just to blend out all of the edges, make sure there are no harsh lines. And then I took some of the Earthshine shade and put that into my inner corner just to really brighten up the eyes. And then I took some of the Mr. Sandman right in the very inner part of the inner corner just to really make it pop. And then I took some of my Kat Von D tattoo liner and just went ahead and did a nice little wing here. I went ahead and did the top line first and then I connected it on the outer corner into that um, nice little cat eye. And once we get the shape that we want, then I filled in the little triangle and made sure that everything looked nice and crisp. Went back over the black eyeliner just to really intensify everything and make sure it was nice and bold. And then we went back into sleeper and a little bit of chiclet. And I just went ahead and applied that onto my lower lash line just to help smoke things out and make it nice and sultry. And then I went ahead and took a little bit of fan fiction and just used that to blend out those two shades to really make it a nice smoky look underneath the eyes. And then I took a little bit of mascara just because we had some fallout on the lashes. And then I took some of the Ritzy lashes from Kiss and took this MAC lipstick and this Jaunty Blue lip liner. And this is the third and final look. I definitely approve of this eyeshadow palette. Best purple eyeshadow palette ever. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then.